four female white sharks were tagged with external acoustic transmitters by Department of Fisheries staff at Two People's Bay, east of Albany, on July the 21st, 2010, following a humpback whale carcass washing ashore there on July the 16th. A temporary shark monitoring network array of six data recording VR2W receivers was deployed around the inshore margin of the bay on July the 22nd to monitor whether these sharks remained in the area. The data collected by these receivers provide the first evidence for how long the beached whale carcasses might lead to an elevated shark hazard risk. With a total length of about 4.2 metres, WA011, shown here in yellow, was the biggest of the sharks tagged. She revisited the bay twice after receivers had been deployed. On the first occasion, she appears to have spent a full 24 hours within the bay on July the 28th and 29th, while on the second occasion she only stayed for six hours between 7pm on August the 1st and 1am on August the 2nd. WA009, shown in green, had an estimated total length of 3.5 metres. She was not detected during the first week that receivers were deployed, but was then detected almost continuously by the receivers on July the 29th and 30th, and over a 15-hour period on August the 5th. WA010, shown in orange, which was about 4 metres long, was not detected until August the 14th and then again on August the 21st, the 23rd, the 28th and 31st. Most of these visits lasted only a few minutes except on August the 14th and 23rd when she spent between seven and eight hours inside the bay. The first and only detection of SA007, shown in blue, was on August the 14th by a receiver in Two People's Bay. This male white shark had a length of about 1.8 metres when he was fitted with an external acoustic transmitter at the Neptune Islands in South Australia by cage dive operator Andrew Wright from Calypso Star Charters on April the 18th, 2008. SA007 was not detected by the CSIRO Neptune Islands satellite linked VR4G receiver before he left South Australia and has not been heard from in either WA or SA since leaving Two People's Bay. A fifth white shark, WA012, shown in purple, was tagged and detected by receivers in Two People's Bay on September the 6th, but was not heard from again during the following two weeks that receivers remained in the bay. He has not been heard from since.